Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video for you that will show you how to edit your website with Weebly. So if you've created a website before and you want to edit it, or if you've been given a website, this will cover that for you. And um, just before I get into it, there's a link in the description down below. If you've not tried Weebly before, that will take you through a free trial version of it. So give that link a click once you've watched the video and you can try it all out for free. So if you've got the, the site selected on your dashboard, if you haven't, make sure that you've got this um, little drop down here and you've got the site that you want to add it selected. Um, and when you first log into Weebly, this will be the, the site, uh, the page that you see. And then select Edit Site on the right hand side there. And that will eventually open the website in the uh, website editor for you to add it. So you, I haven't assigned this one a domain yet because I've been using it for tutorial purposes. Um, so I'm just going to close that and get it out of the way. Obviously, it's looking a bit barren there at the moment. Um, but it's, it's basically sort of very intuitive and very easy to access and use from this point. All the text and stuff that you can see when you give it a single left click, um, like a little word processing menu appears and whatever objects and elements that you've got here, um, it's, it's the same pertains for them as well, you know, so you could, um, for example, uh, just select anything, move it, resize it, and if you want to get rid of it, just click that little red cross in the top right hand corner and hit delete. At any point, if you've got your website created, you could change the theme of it by going to themes and then select theme at the top there. And then as you can see, we're back now browsing the sort of preset templates that are bundled for you know free use. Uh, so you could select one or reselect one that's kind of suits your needs. And then I'll just select one of them and then choose theme like that. And that will then um, migrate my information and populate a new theme like as you see like that so you'll see that you know if you do that it's not like starting a website from scratch it's using the same images that are currently on your site same text and it just migrates it and makes it look different um different format and different layout um if you're ever editing your website i highly recommend preview it previewing it for mobile use the vast majority of your website visitors are going to come on a phone. You know, that that's just the nature of internet browsing these days. Um, people do it on their phones as opposed to sitting on a desktop. I've noticed that with a, a huge range of websites that I own. Um, it's like 80% of traffic are going to come from a mobile device. So it's very important that you preview it on a mobile device and make sure that it looks right and, you know, that it's justified properly and, you know, that it's going to be right for those people because... Even if it looks great on desktop mode, it doesn't really mean that it's necessarily going to look the same on a mobile device as well. The rest of it is pretty, you know, self-explanatory and self, you know, guiding. Most of the stuff associated with what you'd want to add to site or add to it or modify it with is on the left-hand side here. You can also get to the settings of that particular site, change the address of it and access some of the basic stuff there for cookies and things like that. Um... Weebly uses a third-party system for cookies, so you'd need to log into a third-party, create and modify the cookie there, and there's actually a, another tutorial on the channel that covers that. SEO is where you get access to the header and the footer code, um, and that, you know, beyond that, if there's something that you're not finding that you need, I'd recommend then using the App Store built into Weebly to, to find something that is created by a third party as well that would that would uh, meet your needs. Once you're done, you can hit publish and that would then save the, any changes that you've done on your website and make them available to the public. And that concludes the tutorial. So if you want to give Weebly a go, then click the link in the description down below, like I said earlier on. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.